Welcome back to my channel, Being Rocky. I hope everyone is having a blessed day today. While on, while on vacation in Greece, me and my family visit the Greek island, Santorini. We took a plane from Athens to Santorini. It took about 45 minutes to an hour to get there. So, while we were in Santorini, we had moussaka and Greek salad. You can't go to Greece without having Greek salad. So, I'll be trying to recreate that meal today. So, let's get start cooking. Alright, for today moussaka, we, our veggies are, we got some eggplant, bacon, we got some zucchini, potato, I got a whole onion, I got one garlic, but I'll be using one or two cloves. For the meat, we got a pound and a half of ground beef, we got one cup of diced tomato, we got some tablespoon of sugar, we got a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of cinnamon, one tablespoon of tomato paste. We got salt, pepper, and we'll be frying the veggie with the sunflower oil today. So let's get start cooking. So I wash my zucchini and I'm cutting it up thin slices, which I'll be frying in a minute. Over 3,000 years ago, uh, they said a volcano erupted and that's what's formed the island of Santorini today. So that's, that's an awesome fact that, you know. So I wash my eggplant, and I'll cut it up just, cut out the head, cut it up just the way I cut up the zucchini, thin slices. While we were in Santorini, we did the Sunset ES sailing cruise, which was a huge catamaran that it took us out in the Aegean Sea. Uh, they prepared lunch, they did like a barbecue with fresh vegetables, and they stopped us at three different spots. It was the Red Beach, the White Beach, and the Hot Spring, which in you had a chance to swim in the Aegean Sea. That was so amazing. It, it, it was wonderful. It's a nice experience. You gotta try. I peel and I wash my potato and I'm gonna just slice them thin slices too like the rest of the veggie. In the end of the day on the catamaran, all the catamarans line up and all the cruises line up in one line and we got to look at the sunset. Most awesome sunset as the sun was setting. It looks like the sun was going in into the sea as it drops. And after that, they put us onto a dinghy which just took us back to port 
which was awesome. It's like awesome speedboat ride. So I'm going to fry my veggies now. Alright, so I fry my potato until golden brown. Take it out, put it on a pan with some paper to drain all the oil with that. Island brown. While in Santorini, we stayed at the area they called Kamari Beach. It was beautiful, black beach, it was black sand. Some part of it was like black little pebbles. Awesome, it was a little hard to walk on, but it was awesome. But we were back and forth from Kamari Beach to Ia. When you up there in the mountains and you look down at the caldera, the view was so breathtaking though, because it's the the volcano around, that's what they call the caldera in the Aegean Sea. This is the last of my zucchini I cooked there. I fry my potato, 
my eggplant, bacon, and zucchini. So we're all done. We're all done there, so we'll get started on the meat side of it. part now I wash my pot I'm gonna throw a little bit olive oil in there to heat up then I wash and cut up my one onion all right so my onion caramelized a little bit one clove of garlic. I got some sugar. One tablespoon. Grown cinnamon. Grown clove. I'm gonna put some pepper. So I have a pom and a half ground beef. So I'm gonna put in there now. Take a good mix. Oh, it smells so good. All right. So now, what I'll do is, I have one tablespoon tomato paste. It's gone. they make this thing called the besamel sauce so for the besamel sauce I get half a stick of butter half a cup of flour three egg which I'll be only using the yolk three quarter cup of Parmesan cheese four cup of milk salt pepper salt and nutmeg so first we're gonna do is we're gonna put the butter make sure it melts is fully melted I add my flour this is like making roux so or so there we go all right so now that's all cooked we're gonna add the milk a little at a time keep starting it 
get smooth. I'm adding the milk a little bit at a time because I don't want the sauce to be lumpy. Sauces get thick as soon as it bubbles a little bit. You're gonna take it out to find it. Gotta get nice and smooth. See that? Alright, so I'm gonna put some nutmeg. Got my oven at 350 degrees. I'll put this in here for like 20 minutes until golden brown, and then the moussaka will be finished. All right. Meanwhile, our moussaka is in the oven. We're gonna try to recreate a Greek salad. For the Greek salad, we got some oregano, two type of olives, 
We got some capers, olive oil, onion, salt, pepper, vinegar. We got some feta cheese. I got a seedless cucumber. We're gonna you only use like half of that. One green pepper. We got some nice vine ripe cherry tomatoes. Look at that. How pretty they are. And one red onion. So first, let's get started. Olive oil. restaurant kiwi chinese thai restaurant awesome food the closest thing i ever had since i left guyana in chinese food if you go there you gotta take a visit with mr china man peppers now. Green bell pepper. While in Kamari Beach, we drove up to Ia. Driving up to Ia, it's you're driving on the sides of the cliff. The road is like on the side of the cliff winding like this. Sometimes when they take a turn and you're on the passenger side, you literally could see straight down the cliff off the cliff that stuff was crazy
some brioche bread that you put there. salad so let's have a taste mm -hmm. so good thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for travel with me next week